So NVIDIA officially becoming the most valuable public company on Tuesday. The chip maker's market cap surpassing Microsoft and now worth $3.34 trillion. This comes just a few weeks after the company crossed that $3 trillion threshold for the first time here. Shares of NVIDIA, they're up over 170% so far this year. There you're taking a look at that continued rise that really kicked off in 2023 and continues to move higher in 2024, pushing it to this, its newest uh, accolade that it can tout for itself right now. Yeah, it's interesting. It's just the 12th company to hit a record high in the S&P over nearly 100 years, so joining a very elite few there. But I do want to talk about the negative elephant in the room that we've mm. got with NVIDIA because the 10 top largest stocks have been up 17% in the past three months. The rest have actually lost 1.3%. So it's a question that we're having about concentration. Another big issue at play is whether or not the growth that we're seeing with NVIDIA is going to be able to continue. March 2000 was the last time that a computing infrastructure company was the most valuable company in the S&P. And that company was Cisco, clearly not near the top today. So it leads to this broader question about whether or not this is another tech bubble moment and whether NVIDIA can continue to keep up the pace of growth that the street is looking for. And we should note, most valuable U.S. company yes. here, of course, you got to continue to remind ourselves that Saudi Aramco is out there somewhere just sipping True. coffee and uh, <laughs> chilling uh, on its laurels uh, of sorts. But anyway, one of the huge things as we're thinking about this market stat for NVIDIA, also think about the market, market share that it comes with as well here, especially within some of the chip segment, the graphics card chip shipments are up uh, according to John Petty research uh, and the stats that they were able to put out for Q1 of 2024 up by about 39% year over year and you think about the market share for that for Nvidia 88% in Q1 according to JPR and that's compared to 80% the prior quarter here you're thinking about some of the other players out there you're right to think about that AMD that fell uh, from 19% to 12%. Intel also struggling um, to keep up with some of that demand and the market share uh, battle and jousting continues to move forward. The, the last thing that I'll mention on this too is it's interesting where the street is continuing to rally right now. And this is not a specific NVIDIA story, but it is a generative AI story where you're seeing, according to fact set research, some of the most bullishness and buy signals right now. Of the three top the buy signal or buy rated companies. Mm -hmm. um, I believe it's Microsoft, Amazon. Amazon should be that top one. You've also got Microsoft. And then lastly, uh, you've got Delta Airlines, of course, uh, of the airline fame. Anyway, uh, of those companies, Delta Airlines, Amazon, Microsoft, all seeing the buy, strongest buy ratings in the market, according to data from mm -hmm. FactSet. Two of those three companies, of course, strong generative AI plays for the market. Right, and really interesting, though, to see that the fundamentals still matter, and that's why yeah. you've got Delta in that mix as well, Brad. 100%.